The world of coding just got changed forever. Not exactly what you have thought. It's called the Devin AI and it was bought up by the Cognition Labs. Who's calling it the world's first AI software engineer? Right now, it's still behind the closed doors, but many people are worried that they are going to lose their jobs because of Devin. Some members are ready to pack their things and start selling. Hello, Welcome, sir. In today's video, we'll dive deeper and see what's Devin and will Devin reduce IT jobs or is it all hype? Let's go, let's roll the intro. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. I tried for years. This seems Nobody like a listened. Scene in a but how capable is Devin actually? And should you really be concerned that this is going to take your job? A great engineer once said that learning how to code is legitimately a modern day superpower. Yes, I think AI has to tell something about that. The four year degree and years of coding experience. Will Devin actually do whatever a human software engineer can do? Scott Wu, the CEO of Cognition AI, clarifies that he created AI to replace his work. And the Devin AI has access to all the same developer tools that a software engineer had and can plan and execute complex engineering tasks requiring so many like thousands of decisions. Devin performs every single step and if an error occurs, it fixes by its own. It's equipped with a shell code editor and a browser within a sandbox compute environment everything a human would need to do. It accepts feedbacks and works together with you through designs choices as needed. For an example, Devin can automatically learn from a blog post and after reading a blog post, Devin runs control net on the model to produce images with message for the user. Devin made an interactive website and it adds features which are requested by the user and Devin can also fix bugs, find bugs in the code basis. It addresses bugs and feature requests contribute to the mature repositories and can replace humans. Yes, seriously, they gave Devin some real jobs on Upwork and it is able to complete those works. And Devin outperforms GPT-4 and all other AI chatbots on the software engineering benchmark with 13.86% of issues solved correctly. SWE benchmark asks agent to resolve the real-world GitHub issues found in the open source projects like Django and Scikit-learn. Even though 13.86% is more compared to other AI chatbots, it's not nearly as good to replace humans. But Devin AI is nothing new as we got these LMs before too. To test it by yourself, you should go to Cognition's website and submit your request. And once it's approved, you'll likely integrate Devin AI with your existing development workflow. Provide the Devin with clear instructions about the software you want to build and its outlining functionalities and Devin will take reins access resources and uh, independently write your code. Once that's completed, you can view and make changes of the needed in the code which Devin generated. In your final approval, Devin can even assist you in deploying the finished software. Now the threatening question, will Devin replace programmers? The answer is no, because I've already said this isn't anything new. LLM have been able to perform coding in the past they are able to perform simple tasks, but once you start asking these AI more difficult questions or problems, it doesn't perform as well. The only way to use Devin effectively for an actual project that isn't a demo is to develop. Instead of worrying about the AI replacing jobs, use it to make your work 10 times faster. Okay, tell me how many stories or uh, news you have heard about software engineers losing their jobs because the company started or decided to use an AI instead. I haven't heard of a single story. Oh, and uh, by the way, let's not forget that three years ago when GitHub Copilot first came out, there was a similar hype, a fear that it would uh, replace developers, but the reality is it's being a productivity booster, but not the job stealer. So the advice you should follow is don't panic. Just ignore the clickbait headlines. Just keep learning and keep growing. Let me know what do you think about the Devin in the comments and subscribe to the channel and uh, click the bell notification for more videos to be notified. Thank you. Baby, this is to die. Feel it in my veins tonight. 
Emotional suicide You know it's a night for I 